Hi, everyone. Welcome to Unfed, where we're creating equality in our food system. My name is Anne Marie, an activist and new farmer at Moss Creek Farm, and I volunteer at the Real Food Share. I'm here with founder Sean Fitzpatrick, co hosting Unfed. Together, we are on a path to teach how we can get healthy foods to everybody's table, especially in a pandemic. There are so many more people struggling this year to feed their families than in prior years. Sean and I, with all your help, want to be part of that solution. Sean, you want to take a minute to introduce yourself and to tell us about Real Food Share? Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for the intro, Anne Marie. My name is Sean Fitzpatrick, the founder of Real Food Share. We're a Newtown based nonprofit with a mission to get as much healthy local food on everybody's table as possible. And this past year in 2020, we ran two gardens and collected surplus from local farms and donated over 10,000 pounds of fruits and vegetables to five different food pantries across our county. And this upcoming year, we're hoping to do at least triple that. And we are at the very beginning of rolling out some education on all the topics related to food systems and food security. And we're kicking this off right now. Yeah, tell us more about it. What is Unfed? So Unfed is the, it's going to be a weekly lunchtime get together that Anne-Marie and I are hosting. And we are going to be shining the light on all of the topics related to food systems and food security. So for example, uh, nutrition, buying local food, preparing healthy food, um, where to get local food from, food waste, the organizations in your community that are contributing and working in and around food security and food system issues. So what we wanna do is shine the light on all these topics, show how we are all an integral part of it, and then just hit you guys with solutions, give you guys solutions and things that you and your families can do every day that are gonna move the needle to making a huge impact. Mm -hmm. Can you define food security and food systems a little bit more? Definitely buzzwords over the last year in the pandemic, Anne-Marie. Food systems are, you could think of the journey that food has to go through from the field, in any field across the world at this point, to eventually get into your plate. So a food system, you gotta think of where it's grown, who's growing it, the environment it's grown in, how it's getting harvested, how it's getting produced, and mm -hmm. how it's getting packaged, how it's getting distributed and eventually transported to our to our plates. Um, Anne Marie, what did uh what did you have for uh for breakfast or, or lunch? Did you eat yet today? I did. I had eggs and cauliflower. Eggs and cauliflower. Where'd the eggs mm -hmm. come from? The eggs actually are local. They came from Bridgewater, Connecticut. Nice job. All right. Yeah. What else? The, what about the cauliflower the from Carluzzi's Market. <laughs> <laughs> All points for the eggs. That's as, mm -hmm. as good as you can do um, outside of growing them in your backyard or hatching them in the backyard. And the cauliflower not grown in Carluzzi's, uh, one of these very nice local markets here in Connecticut. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they, they must have gotten it from somewhere. So that would be part of of an example of, all right, well, where did that cauliflower come from? Uh, you know, is, it, is it seasonal? How, how long did it take to get here? When was it picked? Mm -hmm. um, and that's part of the journey of the food system and understanding the food system. And uh, mm -hmm. food security, to summarize it, is just kind of the understanding that there is a spectrum for all of us in a community, that uh, for some of us, it is very easy. We don't have to worry or think about where our next meal is going to come from. And there's a spectrum of going down that all of a sudden maybe there's some household items or something comes up that disrupts the, the money flow or, or the budget for the week. And all of a sudden you have to think about changing what you're going to spend on your food, lower down to low food security or very low food security would be you're constantly stressed about. You don't know where your next meal or, or how you're going to feed your kids. And uh, you're, you're, perhaps you're on government assistance programs, which are out there, um, but it's stressful. And uh, there's this spectrum that sometimes you could slide up and down given on any given week, depending on what's going on on the home front. But uh, it's important for people to understand that not a lot of people right now are struggling putting food on the table. Mm -hmm. And it's heart, it's heartbreaking. And um, there's also global solutions versus local solutions. And I can share a story. Um, I used to live in an RV and we stayed in a lot of Walmart parking lots. And I walked into one of the stores one day and right in front, there was a display of macaroni and cheese on sale for 99 cents. Big box, can feed easily a family of four. Um, I walked in just to grab an apple around the same cost that was just going to satisfy me in that moment. 
Sean, you want to talk about those global solutions versus the local solutions? Yeah, so global, that's a great example of globally, some of in the food system realm that there are these big distribution chains and big time producers. And a lot of that is heavily processed food. And a lot of it ends up because it's at such large scale that it's, it's usually lower cost. Um, now that's also usually coincides with not as much nutrition and that kind of uh, those kinds of couplings on these larger scale and kind of kind of global pieces um, often don't don't produce the most uh, most bang for your buck in terms of nutrition and support for the local community. Uh, the apple um, you know, versus the apple. The apple is depending on where it comes from. That's the apple has its story too. But uh, mm -hmm. looking at what global distribution chains can do versus what local are. Um, we want to be able to, to focus on, on the local. So what, what we're going to be talking about, Anne-Marie, in, in the coming weeks and months um, on this weekly webinar are the local pieces. We want to think about how do we get people to more farmers markets, educate them about CSAs, how do we prompt and, uh, and, and encourage people to start growing some food at home or growing more food at home, um, focusing on, on, their, on their recycling and their food waste and, uh, and composting versus, versus throwing things in the trash. Uh, supporting mm -hmm. local organizations and restaurants, so all these good things that we could do on a local level. We we're gonna we're gonna lay them out one at a time, and we're gonna provide resources along the way for all the organizations that have compiled a lot of great great resources. We're gonna share them all with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Again, just if everyone can do just a little bit, just ten percent, we can make a big impact on this on this issue. And Sean, you want to talk about how people can get on these live chats and join us for Q and A's and, and the information we're going to be sharing with them? We're going to put it all out there. It'll be on our email, uh, the Real Food Share website, realfoodshare.org. You can log in for our emails and get weekly uh, weekly notices for, for the webinars and everything else that's going on. Um, we're going to post the, the registration links for our webinars on social media. We'll have a monthly schedule. And then we'll also have weekly reminders. So you'll have an opportunity at the beginning of each month with to sign up for any of them. And then on the weekly, we'll also have reminders for anybody to sign up for the weekly ones as well. Yeah, I'm excited to get going. Yeah, me too. And uh, so, and after we're done, um, before I forget, after we're done, you'll get a PDF with the action steps and the resources that Emery and I have spoken about. And you'll also get a, a link to the, to the webinar that's recorded if you wanted to pass along or rewatch or, or share with any friends and family. Great. Well, until the next unfed. Yeah, absolutely. So, and everybody remember together, together we can end hunger and create a deeper connection with our communities and our environment and just got to get in the game. So we'll see you guys, guys out there and we'll see you on the, the unfed webinars. Thanks so much. Great. Thank you.